What is up crew? Welcome to my personal channel. This week we are talking about packing. Now, I've been getting a bunch of questions like what do I pack with? How do I pack? Um, do I have any experience in SCP? And because some of you guys know that I do swim almost every day, you ask about packing while swimming. So, I don't have much experience with packing since I've only packed for a couple of months. Well, not a couple, I guess. Several months. It's been July that I got my first packer and I've only packed and swam three times. So to answer some of the questions I've been getting, I have my good friend Luke who's gonna help me out. And then I'm gonna give my experience on the only packer I have, which is a sailor, and go from there. So without further ado, let's welcome Luke to the conversation. Hey guys, my name's Luke. I am 19 years old. I'm living in Australia. I'm one of Spencer's friends. You might've seen me on FGM Fantastic. I'm on there with Spencer as well. And yeah. It's really cool, it's really fun. Yeah, I've kind of been in my eye for a little bit, but I am back. Yep. So Spencer has asked me if I would be in a video with them because I have a bit more experience on packing than they do. And so I was just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Let's talk about packing. So I've got some questions here that Spencer has asked me to talk about. And so here we go. So the first question is, what packer do I recommend and why? And the packer I recommend is, it really depends on what you want to do. Uh, if you just want a packer, a plain packer, I reckon the Mr. Limpy is pretty good. I've got the extra small Mr. Limpy. Um, I believe it comes in three colors. They're not really realistic. One of them's like bubblegum pink, but it works if you just want to bulge in your pants and it's really cheap. I think they're only like 12 bucks or something. Yeah, so that's pretty good if you just want a general packer. If you want an STP, there are other options. The main two that I've heard of and that I have experience with are the Free Tom and the Peacock. I have experience with the Peacock Gen 2, as well as the Free Tom, the, like when it first came out, I got like one of the first Free Toms as well. There's also this other one by Erotic, Erotic Creations, I think it is. Uh, that one apparently has worked well for some people. I don't have experience with that, so I don't want to talk about it, but that exists as well. The Real Magic, which is a lot more expensive, that's like up higher in dick. Um, that one, I think they also have STPs as well. What else is an STP? You can also modify your own STP if you want. I would probably recommend the uh, Peacock and Gen 2. That's the packer that I use. I think it's discontinued or no, you can still get it, I think. But they've released the Gen 3 and I'm saving up for that and I'm really excited for that because I think that one looks a lot better and the Peacock Gen 2 is really good anyway, but it's a lot more realistic and stuff like that. So Peacock for that. And as for play, it really depends on what you want. If you can get just like plain hard packers that work I'm sure work, I don't know, I don't have much experience down that department. Otherwise there's the Free Tom and the Peacock and they also work as well. Again, it depends on what you want and size wise, like really it doesn't really matter. The Free Tom does have like a ridge thing so that can feel good for some people. The Peacock also comes with a pleasure kit but that's really hard and I've never really tried using it with that because it looked painful and I was like, no thanks. I got my first packer which was a Mr. Limpy when I was 16. So what, I've been packing for three years now. Yeah, three years? Three years, I've been packing for three years. There you go. I don't actually use packing underwear, I just wear really tight underwear. I generally wear boxer briefs, uh, and I find that I pack, that, that my stuff, that um, my packer just can sit there by itself because my underwear is pretty tight, so it doesn't really matter. Um, that's, um, that's fine. If you want tighter underwear, get briefs. Briefs hold things together a lot better and I have briefs for like if I have exercise and stuff like that because they just keep everything together a lot better. Whereas boxer briefs, there's more chance of things wiggling around. I also have a couple harnesses as well. This one, which is, uh, I kind of custom made it. It was from Peacock and that's why it's got like the string, but the waistband was too small. They sent me the wrong one and I couldn't return it because like they don't have, they don't have a return policy. So I kind of just, I just got a pair of my underwear and then I just cut the band and I just used my underwear band as that, and that works really fine, like that can work. Well, I've been able to, I use that for sport, I use that for any time that I feel like I need support in case that my thing, that my pack is gonna wiggle around a little bit. Most of the time I don't need it though, most of the time it just sits right in and it's fine. Experience with pack and play or STP, so as I said, I've got the, I've got the Peacock at, uh, Gen 2 and I've got the uh, Free Tom. It really depends on what you want as well, so Peacock is a lot, um, the Peacock's a lot thinner than the Free Tom. Free Tom's a lot more girthier. The Free Tom's got this ridge, Peacock's not got the ridge, but it really depends on what you want. I recommend for play, probably the Free Tom. I think that would be better 
for most people. But then for SCP, the Peacock definitely. The three toms too large to pack with and it kind of defeats the purpose of having a pack, an SCP because you still have to carry it around and then put it in and it just won't work. So I recommend the Peacock because it's a lot smaller and you can actually pack with it. It's pretty much impossible to pack with the three tom. I have tried in every single way possible and I'm a very short person so it might work if you're taller, but for the 5.5 five Rogue um, free tom, nope. It's too difficult to pack with, with or without the rod, it's just massive, it's just not fun. So I reckon it's probably only good for play. Some people love it, some people swear by it, but it's really not for me. Uh, I found that dysphoria, bottom dysphoria, and I have pretty severe bottom dysphoria, uh, packing is really, like, it's really alleviated. It, um, I pretty much pack all the time, except when I'm sleeping, like, Sometimes, if I'm feeling, if I feel bottom dysphoria, I'll pack sleeping. But most of the time, I just, I pack pretty much all the time. I'm packing now, like even when there's no one around, I, I still feel comfortable packing. And um, just having something there makes me more comfortable. Uh, I found that, like once I was in a rush and I had to go somewhere, I had like an appointment or something, and I was in such a rush that I forgot my packer, and I was just on edge the entire day because I just felt like. It, it, even though no one could tell because I was wearing little baggy pants anyway, so no one would be able to see anyway. But I just felt uncomfortable because I couldn't feel something there. And like even now, like when I sit and stuff, I, I just like feeling something there. So dysphoria got a lot better with packing, and packing helps a lot. But sometimes uh, it can be a little bit uncomfortable as well because um, it kind of like it, I kind of feel like it's almost like it's not really mine, I suppose, and that, that kind of makes me, that can sometimes trigger bottom dysphoria, but uh, like maybe 2% of the time, uh, packing will trigger bottom dysphoria, but like majority of the time, it just it just alleviates it, it makes me feel a lot better, and I pack whenever I feel dysphoric. Does packing necessarily mean you want bottom surgery? No, packing does not mean that you, you might want bottom surgery, but it also might mean you do, you know? Uh, I know lots of people who pack, they pack for other people, like for example, if they're wearing a suit, or something that's a bit tighter in the crotch and they feel that they need something there just because otherwise they'll feel uncomfortable back then and, but that might not necessarily mean that they want bottom, bottom surgery at all I don't think that they really are correlated at all Sometimes it might mean you want bottom, uh, bottom surgery but sometimes it might not and also if you don't pack sometimes uh, even if you don't pack, it doesn't necessarily mean that you want bottom surgery either, you know? Some people have tried packing, they don't necessarily feel comfortable with it because it, it feels like it's something foreign and it doesn't really, you don't feel attached to it or anything like that and you don't really want to, but that doesn't mean that you don't want bottom surgery. Like, packing and bottom surgery are completely irrelevant. Like, you can either pack and want bottom surgery, you can pack and not want bottom surgery, or you can not pack and want surgery. Do you have anything else to say on this topic? Don't feel pressure to pack. <clears throat> Some people might make you feel like you need to pack, you really don't need to, you can do whatever you want. Completely up to you, completely your choice. Don't feel any pressure to do that at all. If you feel comfortable with um, not packing, rock that, that's totally cool. If you feel like you need to pack, that's not a bad thing either, really. It's completely your choice, you can do whatever you want with that. Uh, you can pay for however much you want for your packer as well, you know, some people are quite happy with packing with a pair of socks Some people need like a $900 dick and that's completely okay. Up to you. Spend your money how you wish. Do what you want with it. The, if you feel like you want to pack uh, but you don't have a packer or you don't know how to get a packer There are plenty of tutorials on how you can make your own packer or even if you just want to use um, socks That's fine. I like made my own packer when I was younger before I got my actual packer and I use socks as well and but they both work. I think that's all I can say about packing but um thank you for having me on your channel Spencer. I have my own personal channel as well and I'm also on Transfastic so if you want to see more of me uh I'm sure Spencer will leave my details below. If anyone's got any questions about packing I'm more than happy to answer them as well in the comments so feel free to do that if you want. But yeah so catch you later and I will see you next time. Alright, so that was a bunch of information from a very awesome guy. I'm glad he was able to answer it in the detail that he did. And now I'm going to talk about the packer that I have and the experience I have with it. So this is my packer. I'm kind of upset because it doesn't match my skin tone. It's a Sailor um, um, medium or small. I don't remember. But it's a Sailor. It's great. I enjoy it. I pack almost every day, but I don't pack at work um, because I wear scrubs, so my pants are very loose and I don't have a harness yet, so 
it's like really weird and I don't want it to like move around. I have this fear that's gonna fall off my leg. So with this packer, it's pretty stretchy and squishy. It's like sticky too. So just so you know, um, you may wanna, I don't know, people say something like cornstarch or something. I don't put anything on it because it doesn't bother me, but I guess maybe I should. I don't know. Um, but because it's so sticky, if you drop it or put it on anything, it's gonna collect what's around it. So you do have to keep it washed frequently, which this one is a little dirty, but oh well. Um, I It does have a lot of wear and tear, if you can see right here. I usually wear mine up and to the side, um, and the bulge is um, acceptable for me. There are three sizes, a small, medium, and large. I believe that's a medium. Um, I personally would probably get a large the next time I go, um, just because I stand at six foot and the bulge is kind of where I want it to be, but um, that's a medium and it does me justice. I've only swam with that three times and I'm not actually gonna swim with that anymore just because it's starting to get a little discolored because of the chlorine. Um, so what I suggest, what I got one of my friends who is a water polo player, he said to just get the cheap Mr. Limpy because even though it gets discolored. If you're only gonna use it for swimming, then you know you want to go with that. You can also use that. Um, like I said, it gets discolored. Um, he also says that that will eventually turn to mush. So that's why I stopped packing with it. So or when I swam, so far it hasn't. So thank God. But I guess if I kept it up, it would, and that would be a bummer. So if you are a swimmer like I am, you definitely want to get like a Mr. Lumpy or um, the more expensive packers because then they will actually hold form. Um, but the fear is the chlorine will cause a discoloration, so you don't um, want to ruin a very expensive packer. Um, another thing, I don't have any experience with STP. I am getting an STP in the next month or two because I have been passing like 100%. Well, not like, like, I've been passing a lot. And because I've been passing so well, I only use men's bathrooms now, and men's bathrooms are gross. So, I will be investing in a um, peacock, I believe, because, yeah, a peacock. So, um, that will be my next adventure, but so far, I just have the standard packer. Um, a thing that I want to touch on, does packing mean you want um, bottom surgery? For me, at this point in my life, at 23 years old, on October 7th, I can tell you that right now, I do not want bottom surgery. Whether that will change with time, I do not know, but as of now, I am perfectly not perfectly, but I'm pretty happy with my bottom half. Uh, and I think I just have dysphoria's other wear. I have dysphoria's elsewhere that is um, more pressing. So it's making, if there is any major bottom dysphoria downstairs, like kind of just in the back of my mind. Simply because one, I know that's just gonna be so, so off in the future. One thing that I do really want is a histo. And I've been saying I want a histo since I want a top surgery. So. If you're including a histo as bottom surgery, then yes, I do want bottom surgery because I do want a histo. But um, as far as like the creation of phallus or phalloplasty or metodioplasty, at this point in time, I don't think I do. But that's what I have to say about packing. I do appreciate everybody from sending me questions about it. Hopefully we've answered everything to the fullest extent of our knowledge. If you do have any questions or concerns, problems, issues, qualms, please feel free to hit me up. I'm gonna leave Luke's information down below as well. He's a great guy, hit him up too. And I appreciate you guys sticking around watching this video. It is, I'm the, you know what, I'm not gonna say the days anymore because who knows when I edit this, but it's some beautiful day in Atlanta. It's Spencer, until next time.